incredible while you're doing oh. all the clap syncs. Yo, 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 yo
what kind of wild west sheriff and part-time tumbleweed rancher that's what i am today <laughs> just in case that isn't clear hi y'all i am a um i'm a deputy sheriff uh help out with the cattle rustling and i also take care of uh you know any of the cattle or any of the tumbleweeds that need ranched in the wild west Whew, okay, now that the rush of starting is uh, like starting to calm down a little bit with me, let's come over here and grab those beautiful, beautiful sugar canes because they would be quite useful. And then I think we're gonna see if we can find perhaps uh, some iron and we might jump straight up into the mesa biome. Normally I would probably run away from it. No fighting until episode two. All right, got it. So we're going to see, it looks like there's some coal over there. There's some cactuses. There's some more of the sugar cane. So we're gonna go and grab that so we can make some paper. And hopefully I'll remember how to actually put things together in order to make armor and all of those other useful things because it's been a long while since I have worried about those things. Oh, there's so much sugar cane. Hopefully this will be good. It has been a very long time. Oh, chicken! Chicken, you're adorable and I am so sorry. Oh, there's so many chickens! Yes, okay, I'm so sorry, forgive me. Oh, wait, can I not? Oh, there they go. <laughs> Forgive me, chicken. I do love thee, but I need the food. I need to make sure I keep my food up, my friends. I'm so sorry. I promise to avenge you. I promise to avenge you with the chicken sanctuary elsewhere. There we go. Not to mention these feathers will be very useful in the future. All right, whew. Now I'm calming down, but man, those first few seconds of UHC are always so intense when you want to try to start grabbing some materials. But if y'all are here uh, to see a certain fighting expert, then um, that's not me. So I hope you guys will enjoy maybe hearing some stories about my time growing up in Texas and my experience in the very, very hot, hot Texan summers that we had out there uh, instead. All right, let's go over. Sorry chickens, I'm so sorry. And let's see, oh and Roadrunners! Have you guys ever seen Roadrunners in real life? So maybe I should consider these Roadrunners instead of chickens. I probably don't need this much food. I probably need iron and things like that much more, but still. We'll go ahead and grab these. How much food do I have now? 16 cooked chickens, not bad. Not bad at all. And I actually have some seeds. So if I go ahead and feed the chickens, then they'll make me more chickens. So I can kind of have a renewable chicken resource. All right, let's see. I'm gonna grab this, gonna grab this. Come here, chicken leg. Oh, don't tell me that was somebody over there. No, I think we're good. I think it was just the little chicken like death mo uh, emote. There we go. All right, so I'll go ahead, take one of these two chickens. Sorry, I took your mother. <laughs> UHCs are always so brutal, even for the wildlife, you guys. But hopefully we'll be able to talk about some fun things. Um, three free potatoes. Angie, I'm so jealous. Aw, does that mean that because she's vegan too, she got like a potato instead of, um, instead of steak? I'm gonna have to say something about that next time. That's really cool if you she is like vegetarian options. Oh, I'm gonna have to ask about that. We could have vegetarian, uh, veggie options for start food. There we go. That would be adorable if that was the case. Oh no, and it's already getting dark. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and look for somewhere I can possibly do a little bit of mining. <laughs> oh, I thought you started with potatoes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, mock meat, there we go. Ve vegans unite. <laughs> All right, and uh, I say that as I slaughter a pig. That's kind of, that's kind of silly. All right, so let's see. We've got to get out of the darkness, so I probably need to find somewhere to go. Let's look for a village. Let's take out some of these pigs. Forgive me. Oh my gosh, is that already a creeper? <gasps> that is already a creeper. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to not go near that spot, and we're going to look for somewhere that I can possibly get out of the darkness with. Though it's normally never as bad at night as I always think it's going to be. And at least taking out these pigs mean I, means that I'm gonna have a ridiculous amount of food. Look how pretty the flowers are. All right. But yeah, I'm so excited to be doing this, you guys. And Wild West theme, how fun is that? All right. Ah, 
Oh, and there's some more of the awesome sugar cane. So let's go collect that. Keep an eye out for any spiders we might run into. Normally I get a village like first thing. Maybe in the desert I'll be able to find a temple. <gasps> that would be really cool. I think that's worth the risk. Plus, at least in the desert, I can see what's going on. Oh, and we're starting to run a little bit low on food. So let's go ahead and eat a little steak. I might need to cut down some trees pretty soon. All right, that looks like mess up. Wow, guys, look at that. Oh, now's not the time to take pictures, but it is very pretty here. All right, let's see. Sand, what's over here? I'm kind of curious. Let's see. What the heck is going on here? Is that just shadowing? I suppose, but wow, that's awesome! What a cool natural formation! And that's actually uh, some of the cool stuff that I've seen in the desert. How many of you have actually been in the desert? Or like out in what you would call the Wild West? Because I did grow up, like I said, in Texas, and we did make a lot of trips, um, family trips, driving across to see what was going on in like Utah. We went out to Utah quite a bit and that's that reminds me of Utah. The Mesa biome really reminds me of Utah a lot. The Arches National Park. Is this gonna be spawn? Am I really close to spawn? I am awful darn close to spawn. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this partners. All right, we'll gather up this sugar cane and we might get out of here because I need, I really, really need some iron and I don't know if I'd find it over there. I know there's some mine shafts. There's probably mine shafts like under my feet everywhere, but maybe it would be a good thing. You know what? I feel like being bold. It'll be a good thing if we go ahead and maybe watch out over the sand dunes for any, oh my gosh, is that seriously? <gasps> I am way too close for comfort. Let's go this direction and we'll see if we can find ourselves a nice little mine shaft to go ahead and get all cozied up and partner. And in case you guys are thinking I'm making fun of like the Texan or like the Wild West sort of accents, it's all in good fun. I actually used to have a super heavy Texan accent while I was growing up. Jeez, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. But I used to have a super heavy Texan accent growing up and um, it took me a long time to actually lose it. Oh, where am I going to find? There's some squid doos, which would be useful for making like a book, I guess. What's on the other side of this side? All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do a little bit of, little bit of rock climbing. Hopefully there's not something right above my head that's gonna eat me. I need to find, I need to find a mine shaft piece. I need to find a cave to tunnel in. It looks like there might be something over there. So we'll go that direction. But look at me, I've never been so close to, um, so close to spawn before. I'm, I'm being bold. I'm trying to stake a claim early. Oh, and that's actually what you need to do. Oh, 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 here we go. What am I going to do without torches? <laughs> that just hit me. I need wood. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not going to help me whatsoever if I don't have any wood. Oh man. All right. Let's loop around because I did see a bunch of dead trees over here. Beautiful dead bushes everywhere. Oh geez. Is that a zombie wearing a helmet? How about no? Oh, he saw me. Okay, maybe I can steal his helmet. All right, partner. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. I want your enchanted helmet though. You gotta drop it, okay? Sweet. Ah, oh, he didn't drop anything. Rude dude. All right, but there's something over there. So let's run over and, oh, not a skeleton. And let's see if I can start gathering up some of that wood at the very least. Got a little bit of food. Being pretty aggressive. I need torches. I knew I shouldn't have gotten distracted by the adorable piggers and I should have stayed the course and tried to go gather up. Wow, look at all this. Is this stone? What is this? This is coarse dirt. Oh, I just didn't recognize it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get a bit of wood because I'm gonna need tons of wood to be able to make torches. All right, and Mr. Skeleton, you can just stay right over there, my friend, unless you're gonna be like nifty and die easily for me. Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. It's so dangerous. I need to be careful. All right, let's take this down. 
But yeah, I did grow up in Texas. I spent the majority of my childhood there and I really did have a very, very heavy Texan accent the first few years of my life after we moved to Missouri, which was the next place I lived. Um, I It took me a while to lose the accent. My sister had it. True, deep south blue Texan accent. And it took her a very long time to lose it uh, growing up. Let's gather up this. But she had it like that really sweet kind of cutesy darling sort of accent. So everybody in school was just completely charmed by her. So I think that's one of the reasons she kept her accent longer than I did. There we go. But I grew up in Houston. I lived in Austin for a couple of years and I got used to it being awful hot. All right, let's go ahead. And also cowboy hats. I you know now that I mention it, it's been a long while since I've seen some cowboy hats. All right, I saw a creeper over there. He just might mind his own business by staying over there. I don't know, you know, it takes all types to make the wild frontiers, so I'm not gonna judge, but he just better keep himself over on that side of things. All right, so these are oak saplings. I don't know if that means they're going to drop leaves for me politely or not. Um, and let me grab some food before I get too hungry. Toss this down and I'm gonna go ahead and try making a few more sticks. Let's get, keeping in mind that I've got some mobs awful close to me. Let's go ahead and get another sword. Oh, I already have another sword. So let's get another ax. No reason to panic. Somebody else has lots of spiders. That's not something I have to worry about just yet. Was that an apple? <gasps> that was a beautiful apple. All right. Well, now I just need to manage to find a little bit of iron. I think I might dig down in just a minute. Um, and I'm trying to remember, I think I can actually turn the wood into peat. Because normally y'all know that I happen to be a wonderful zoo crafter. I'm a, a zookeeper over in our wonderful Zoodesia Zoo. And I mean, we are a little bit behind the times because we tend to focus. Uh, I guess I don't really need to carry these boats around. Because uh, we do tend to focus on 1.7 kind of things over at our zoo. But I need stone in order to make... What am I doing? I need stone in order to be able to make an oven. So I probably need to get out of here. I have a couple apples though, which is a good thing. I'll get a little bit more wood from over here. I think everybody else is probably holing up for the night. And uh, you know, I wanted to see the stars. That is something I definitely remember from traveling out there. Oh, look at the sunrise. All right, y'all, let's go look at the sunrise. Kind of take that in, admire it, dodge between these dead trees, make sure we don't attract ourselves some nonsense. And then there's another zombie over there. They'll be uh, they'll be burning up in no time, so I'm not too worried. I want to be very careful being at the very edge of a biome like this. <laughs> Big old cliff watching the sunrise, getting shoved off by a zombie. That'd be the way to start a new adventure, wouldn't it? All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, y'all, I think that that was worth it. It was a bit of a risk being out at night, but holy. Wow. That can take one's breath away. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Okay, enough, enough looking, enough being a looky-loo. Let's go ahead and we're going to start looking now that the zombies should hopefully, oh, there's a zombie over there. Let's give them a little bit of personal space. And I might try climbing down the mountainside just a teensy bit from here. There's that skeleton still. And I need to figure out if I can get to the inside of this cliff. Because I bet it's just full of all sorts of absolutely beautiful and oh so wonderful. Gorgeous mines. There we go. Zombie down. Other zombie almost down. How about you stay over there, buddy? Alright. Ooh, he dropped some brains. Nice. I don't think you can use those for anything off the top of my head, so don't really want to keep his brains with me. But I like this spot. It's a good forest. We could gather up quite a bit of, um, we could gather up quite a bit from over here. So, oh, <gasps> yes, no way. And I think we found ourselves a nice little mine entrance. 